as the kickoff comes from Paxton Brooks. And Georgia will start at the 25 yard line. And that snaps way over his head. Bennett's got a back pedal all the way. Drop the ball inside the five. And it's going to be a touchdown, I think, or a safety. Let's see. It's a touchdown, Tennessee. The ball kept squirting around at the goal line. And it's recovered by the Volunteers. Burton in motion will settle in on the right side. Quick slant, quick first down. And I think that's really Stetson's game right there. He likes the intermediate balls. He likes the receivers. Just got a new contract extension, too, as a matter of fact, in Knoxville. They're down at six. Bennett's in trouble. Down he goes from behind. Sacked. His head has to go a little faster than this. Coming from his right side, gets around the outside. And as he leaves the pocket, not quick enough to get away from Jake Camarda set to kick it. Eric Gray is back deep. Oh, what a punt. New catch called for inside the 10 around the 8-yard line. So a good kick. Changes the field position a little bit. But Tennessee. Especially against Georgia. They're the best in the country at this nickel package. Garantano at his own goal line. Throws complete. Not going to be a first down, though. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Short punt takes a bounce and saving some yardage here, or maybe not. Here is Jackson fielded on one hop and then lost some yards. Opening minute on a high snap and a fumble recovery by Tennessee in the end zone. Kenny McIntosh. Good run off the left side. He's going to get about 13 out of it. And maybe Samir White, we got it. But McIntosh around the corner. Good block of the edge. That's what you got to get it. And... Play action, Bennett throws high and wide, incomplete uh, George and Pickens. Get, and we're going to get a late hit right at the end of this one. Hand off, Zamir White trying to fight for, I don't even know if he got a yard. Yeah. The guy that has to take over for Johnson's a true freshman in Tyler Barrow. Barron, excuse me, down the seam. Complete McIntosh, still on his feet. First and goal, Georgia around the two. You cannot get beat inside. That's where you're vulnerable. Bake him outside. He lets him inside. The defense is gashed when that happens. You can live with getting beat outside if you're a coach. But when you get beat inside, there's nobody to help you. Georgia with a first and 25 extra pounds of defensive linemen ahead of the touchdown by Zamir White. Fit the block, fit the block again. Oh, man. He's going to take the shotgun snap, and he's going to go deep on the sideline and just over the outstretched arms of Josh Palmer. Perfect last week against Mizzou. Almost dropped the handoff. Boy, this is close. I don't think so. At his own 35, Georgia shifting on their defensive line. Garantano running for his life. He's going to tuck it and get what he can, and he only got about a yard before he's run out of bounds. Garantano, late pressure coming, just has to get rid of it. He completes it. But he hits the deck right after he lets go. Dials up the blitzes, and he's coming inside here again. Number three, Tyson Campbell. Freeze it. You see Garantano can see it. Has to bail and make the throw. Back for Paxton Brooks punt. High deep kick. Jackson's going to field it actually as wow. he steps out of bounds at the five, which perfect. is where it would have gone out. Nice kick. Yes, perfect. It's amazing the thousands of miles they traveled trying to get an invite to elite 11 quarterback camps, and he kept wearing that cap. And he's throwing deep, and there's going to be pass interference at the 45 yard line as George Pickens got mugged back there by Alante Taylor. They fake it to him. Bennett throws down the middle, complete. First down out near the 45-yard line. Second down, two at the 47. Blitz coming off the corner. The handoff for the first down could bring our quarter to a close. 
This time they'll keep it on the ground and they're going to lose yardage. that time. Kenny McIntosh mm -hmm. loss on the, his right. Goes down the middle again and this one's an overthrow Lucky. incomplete. Kiaris Jackson says it's interference. The late flag comes in. Rosalie, Jack Saint and Jermaine Burton. They're going to throw the pitch to the near side. Good run. Pick up of about nine for Kenny McIntosh. Your two tight ends right here. Get to him really fast. Get inside almost an unblocked player to the outside that time. White trying to bounce it outside. He ran right into Henry To'o To'o, leading tackler, and maybe the next great linebacker at Tennessee. Yeah, give me a chance on a running play. Spilled outside from the defensive end position, and To'o To'o cleans it up. This appears to be a passing situation on third down at seven. Bennett flushed out of the pocket, running for his life, and he's going to get a first down. Nice run down inside the 10-yard line. Stetson Bennett on a quarterback draw, and again, now he cuts to the outside and might have a touchdown. He does. He said to me, if it stops now, it would be pretty cool. Hopefully it doesn't. <laughs> the way he's playing, not going to stop anytime soon, is it? Playing some good football, making great decisions, using the snap count, understanding where people are, and he even got a break with the drop. Delayed blitz, throw down the middle is complete, and it's a first down. And a good completion out to the 43-yard line, Aaron Gray again. And only 54 yards for Tennessee so far. Aaron Towns going to throw short to Gray in the backfield. He's been his number one target, and he got maybe a yard, and then he got walloped by Nicobe Dean. Paxton Brooks to punt. He's had a couple nice ones so far. This is an end-over-end -end job. Kiaris Jackson is going to say, just everybody get out of the way, but he's going to field it on a hop again at the 15-yard line. First down from the 16. Corner blitz. Stetson Bennett got rid of it to George Pickens. Did he hold on? Right in front of the Georgia bench, he did. Come again, aren't they? Looks like it. On third and nine, a little swing pass out to McIntosh. Kenny McIntosh short of the first down by about a foot. Tennessee takes too, over. Too late now. It's a play and a county. Garantano wanting to take advantage of it. Going to air it out near side. Caught. Touchdown, Tennessee. Well, how about that sequence? And Josh Palmer makes him pay. Jay Daniel, number 14, on the bottom. Going to go deep. Man-to-man -man coverage all the way. Good coverage in phase, but the receiver always has an advantage. We shouldn't call them 50-50 balls. We should call them like 70-30 balls. Josh Palmer's been around. Comes an end around. And it's Barton, the freshman. He's got excellent speed down the sideline. Still heading into Tennessee territory, all the way down to the 32-yard line. Comes off the left side, beautifully designed play, completely outflanks, and a Georgia team that's struggling even last year in 2019 to find explosive plays, found one on that one. Gears Jackson in motion. Pressure coming around the corner. Bennett again has to roll out and throw. Just get rid of the ball before he's decked. A 38-yarder earlier this year. Trying to replace the legendary Rodrigo Blankenship, Georgia's all-time leading scorer. But Lesney, kick on the way, and it is good. 47-yard field goal. <laughs> what? Sunday Masters. This kick will be returned from the two-yard line by Bayless Jones, a great returner when he was at Southern California. And he's got a good one here as he's run out in front of the Georgia bench. As we check in with James, Georgia failed attempt at fourth down on the touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. He's back to throw again, avoids the pressure momentarily, and now he'll keep it and got a couple of yards out of it before he's run out of bounds by Jordan Davis. Well, they're going to get a late hit here, too. Late flag on the play. So they've been bottled up all game except for two big plays. Oh, man, get, talk about getting hit in the face on a quarterback sneak. He's had several successful quarterback sneaks so far through the first two weeks. 
Darren Tunnel, the pocket holds for him, and he zips it down the middle, and wow, there's a huge hit, but a first down to Johnson. Urgent to his own teammates for catching that one. Garantano coming to the corner again. Same play, same result. Touchdown, Tennessee. Nope. Yep. Out of bounds. Could not get that right foot in. This ball was actually thrown better than the one That's other right. left foot when he controlled the ball. Got it. He might give him that touchdown, huh? I called it a touchdown because yeah. I thought it was in real life, but uh, real speed, rather. They looked at the left foot. The right foot, but maybe he had the left foot down. I think he's going to get a touchdown on this. I do too. He's doing well. <laughs> Kicked off. Going to be returned. Little hesitation back there by McIntosh. Now breaks it down the sideline, cuts back in, and all the way out to the 41 yard line. Good return by Kenny McIntosh. Now every play is available for Todd Munkin in this offense. Runs through one tackle, then if you look downfield here, there's a hat on everyone. Averaging 43 or returns when he's right on the money. Here's Amir White, hitting the backfield and drops, and it's toe toe. The linebacker with the hit. These plays, sees the keys, and then goes behind the blocking, gets through the middle of the line, and makes that play. Number three still in the backfield with Stetson Bennett, and he'll get the call, and he'll get the first down, and almost a face mask on top of it. But 25 to go in the half, Georgia with two timeouts left. Bennett, deep middle, got it, oh, throw to the tight end, and it's all the way down to the 16-yard line to Trey McKinney. You love the matchup. You got Jeremy Banks, number 33, matched up against your tight end. And it, the throwback complete to Burton. Burton broke a tackle, still heading down toward the goal line. And that's the second time he's used the sideline nicely. Go by Banks and Taylor. Watch number two. Taylor comes up, he misses, and Banks misses. Two guys missed the tackle for the positive play. You know, they kept talking about Jermaine Burton, the freshman. Got two tight ends in there as well, plus all that extra beef. And it's Zamir White, he didn't get there. Time out, and now you got to decide. Zamir White, the tail behind the jumbo set. And Zeus, did he get there? He did not. Goal line stand by the Volunteers. Three big short yardage plays, two on fourth down has been the difference. Garantano on third down, and he's going down, and the ball is out, and george has got it at the 15-yard line. Ojolari, I think, is the guy that's covered it. There's Olazari. Let's see how he gets around the corner this time. Gets taken down, gets back up, and then strips the ball. And the only team in the SEC that had not turned the ball over so far this year, Tennessee, just turned it over. And that's one of those where you're dependent on your quarterback. Can you just get us out of this play and not get a turnover? We can take a sack there, but it's the worst of the worst. Really no harm. They declined it, so nothing really happened. Draw play. Blockers in front of McIntosh, who gets back to the 16-yard line. Whoa, and there's a shove, almost a punch. Watch number one come in. And well, man, that was close to a punch. McIntosh is in there fighting. Actually, the punch was not the guy I called. That was a forearm shiver. Meanwhile, 34-yard field goal is up and good. That's what Georgia gets out of the Jared Garantano fumble. In Tennessee history, over 700 passes. This one he throws off his back foot, and there's the interception right on Gary's cue. And that's one decision-making. Nothing's there. Just get out of it. Just get it. Back-to-back -back turnovers. And can the defense save him again? Pressure in his face. Watch him go backwards and throw it. Tigerick Stevenson put a helmet right in his chest. And the end result, an interception at the 36. Bennett has to let this one go when the pressure got to him. Incomplete intended for Kiaris Jackson. Jake Kamara to hold. But Leslie from long range. Kick on the way. It is good. Plenty good. Eric Gray in motion out to the top as a wide receiver. Garantano down the middle. Pass complete. Missed tackle. And Jones, uh, 
Uh, Brandon Johnson, I beg your pardon. Tigers of LSU handing them their second loss of the year. Strange happenings. And here they got a two-point Georgia lead with 8.50 remaining in the third quarter. Jackson has to backpedal to call the fair catch around the 11 or 12-yard line. It doesn't even have to be big explosive. Just give us a good positive play. That care. one's not nope. a positive play. Loss of one, maybe two. By Toa Toa, the linebacker to make the hit. They're stopping that line. Toa Toa is running anywhere he wants. Takes on a blocker wow. and makes the play. Wow, watch this. Watch number 11 take on Schaefer and then clean up the play. That is linebacker play. Sure is. Bennett draw play. McIntosh going to be brought down for a loss again. Again, good work by the Tennessee defense. Couple turnovers. Got Georgia going backwards. Can't run the ball. Can't block the middle. Tennessee can't block the front for Georgia. And Georgia can't block the linebackers for Tennessee. And Georgia with another big defensive play this time. Monty Rice, the middle linebacker with the hit. Confidence in this Georgia defense, 32 right there in the middle. Sees it quickly and turns, runs, forced inside. Great job outside to help turn it in by Tyson Campbell. Can't believe I get to talk to you Long now. time. Garantano under pressure. Ball is out again. One of the big linemen trying to get to it and just does. Play. Wanya Morris covered it, or it could have been another disaster for the Volunteers. Coming from the left side. Right around the corner. Strip sack. And it's gone. Adam Anderson comes around, and it's out, it's out, but it's not out. Oh, my. So, Morris missed the block, so he might as well get the fumble. Yep. So now, after the great punt by Camarda to the 24, Tennessee has to punt Stim Brooks. Right now it's been which offense is worse so far in the third quarter. Kiaris Jackson has to backpedal and call a fair catch and takes it around the 38-yard line. So the punters do their job. Let's see if Georgia can scratch where it's itching here on first down. Right now it's itching all over for Georgia. Can they find a play? Got him on a square in. And got him complete. It's Burton again. First down. Across the 50, and the ball comes out, but it's covered by one of Georgia's linemen this time. Third down at 10. Bennett steps in, fires far sideline. Got a man complete. Kiaris Jackson again. He's leveled as he caught it, but he's got a first. Pickens to the top of your screen has been a non-factor today. Second negative factor. Bennett down the middle. Complete. It's a touchdown to Kiaris Jackson. A little bit of motion confused Tennessee. This guy and this guy get confused on the coverage, leave the second receiver wide open. They both go for the motion player. Just that little bit of window dressing caused the touchdown. And from our pylon, AT&T 5G cam, number 10, the sophomore, who's becoming a household name around. But that Georgia defense has stepped up. They are on fire here in the third quarter. Oh, boy, they just about forced another turnover there as Garantano got hammered as he let go of that foot. Axton Brooks again to punt inside his own 10-yard line. Kiaris Jackson, who just caught the touchdown pass, back deep for Georgia. This is not a great kick unless it gets a good bounce, and it does, and he picks up another one. And he's going to lose about a yard again. He doesn't have any return yards, but he has a lot of stop yards, you know. <laughs> From the 34, quick throw out on the flat, complete, and a first down. That's Demetrius Robertson, his first catch. Of they keep it on the ground, and there's a first down run by Zamir White to the 40. I was say that's an interesting call for this Georgia off. All into slowly field goal range. Play action. Going to go for all of it right here. Jackson got it again. First and goal, Georgia. Right down the middle. Watch the tight end, and then Jackson go to the outside. Tight end's wide open, and Jackson with a perfect throw to Bennett from Bennett. 33 yards. This time, a little short toss, and how about that? You said, do they have a play action out of this a little bit earlier? And they get it to Carter for the touchdown. 
There he is. Big fullback slides out. I was wondering why they didn't call this at the end of the half. Almost gets knocked off of his route. Here they come. Garantano, look out from behind. Down he goes. The ball is out. Monty Rice giving chase. Rice has got it. He's going to score. Touchdown, Georgia. Stevenson are going to blitz inside. Rice goes first. And then Stevenson behind him. Rice strips. And then he finds it. And then he takes it. Strip sack, force fumble, fumble return, touchdown. The offensive line for Tennessee could not handle the Georgia front. That's been the story of the game. Garantano got a wide open receiver out there. Keaton, the uh, tight end. They got the jumbo set in here. A fourth down in the yard. And I don't know if it helped or not. The head linesman's coming in. I think his foot is... Going to give them the first down, but not by much. <laughs> There's his numbers. Three total touchdowns, nine different receivers. And I'm not sure when we looked on the calendar. Is, here's another nice run. And the ball came out at the end. I think the play had been called dead. Redone schedule this year and knew that we were going to Tuscaloosa. Did you think number 13 was going to be playing quarterback for Georgia? <laughs> he's, he's doing his job. No, I did a lot of talk shows, but that didn't come up. I didn't think it did. <laughs> Third down at five. Play action bootleg. He's going to keep this all the way. And, ooh, took a big hit, but he got a first down. I don't sure think he did. ever landed. Went over the top of one of the would-be tacklers. Need to get inside the 13-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Milton popped the ball out, and Tennessee's got it, I think. So a fumble. Georgia hadn't turned things over. Here with a Hail Mary to Jawan Jennings. That day, Josh Jobs and a, little, a back called Elvin Kamara had a pretty good day, rushing yeah. for over 100 yards. He's doing pretty good for himself. Garantano in trouble, down he goes, everybody getting in the act. Tyndall's had about three plays in a row just in this series. Might be the last time Tennessee touches it, unless they can convert here. Garantano hangs in tough and throws a strike, and it is first down. <laughs> I love when you came up with that one yesterday. <laughs> Garantano, third and five, out in the flat. Completes to Chandler. Chandler broke a tackle down the sideline. And then he's deposited over there on the side. It comes to George on the final play. And Garantano goes down on the final play. And that's Tyndall again. I think that's a good finish of this game. It tells the whole story. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.